this video is about navigating. Oh, that was perfect. This is about navigating cities that you're just visiting at night. Thing is, I'm like struggling. Okay, what am I? Always gotta have your chapstick on you. No advertisements. Okay, y'all. Easy going. First off, it's my second night here. I got dice on camera right now. As you can see, walking through stop signs, crosswalks, a little dangerous here. I mean, look, the dude barely just turned his light on right now. It's red, so it's good for us to go. I got you, Paradise. Let's go. Let's go. I got you. Watch out, watch out, watch out. It's definitely a different vibe walking through right now. We're in San Jose, like I mentioned before. I, okay, a lot of, there's so many things going on right now, I gotta collect myself, okay. So as you guys know, it's my, watch out. As you guys know, it's my second time here in Costa Rica. Why you want to come back? Why'd I come back to Costa Rica? Because why not? Pura vida. But really, I'm studying, as I mentioned, the Eco Entrepreneurship Program because we're out here trying to be leaders. But one thing I learned today about being a leader is every leader needs a follower. And so I asked myself, what's a leader without a follower? It's really a movement that's not going anywhere. So. A movement that's not moving isn't really anything. So, look, if you, if you analyze this, the scenario right now, I wanna teach you guys something about traveling abroad that I've learned in my time from traveling by myself, but now that I have someone with me, I feel a lot more safer. But if you look at the area right now, I give them a little tour, okay? It, it, you can see that I'm not gonna go that way. You, you, you see it, right? I'm, it's just, you gotta be able to pick it up. And it's something you can pick up on your environments. If I were to go, <laughs> if I were to go anywhere, I'd go up the street. Trust me, let's go up the street. So favorite snacks? <laughs> favorite snacks here in Costa Rica? Well, I wouldn't call it a snack. Maybe I would call it a snack, but I love ice cream. But for some reason, the United States. I'm not able to have any type of milk, or at least like drinking milk and ice cream. I can have some dairy, but here in Costa Rica, I love it because I can have the milk and I get a little carried away with it. I can't even, I gotta be honest with you. We just finished some ice cream at Cafe Mundo. That was some of the most amazing ice cream I've ever tasted in my entire life. It was, a, it was the definition of vanilla bean ice cream. Okay, French vanilla. I thought I was in France when I was eating it. Okay, see, another, another thing I wanna show you guys. For some reason, it doesn't call my name to go this way. At least on this side of the street. But this side looks a little more safer. This video is about navigating that was perfect. This is about navigating cities that you're just visiting at night. So most places at, in Costa Rica, you won't see many cross, crosswalk signs. What you will see is like these gutters right here. Because it, because it rains so much in Costa Rica, they have these gutters for the water to flow to prevent flooding and to keep the city running. So with my knowledge now as a, as a becoming a more well-seasoned traveler, 
I really desire to show you guys what traveling at night is like because I've done it by myself. I do it in Ethiopia where they tell me not to. But look, I'm still here. I usually try to do it by myself. I wouldn't recommend this by yourself, nor am I necessarily recommending for you to As I was saying, <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it, but the reason I'm showing you is because I do it. And you know, traveling is all about getting outside your comfort zone. Traveling is all about seeing what most people aren't willing to see. So if you're really trying to travel and get to understand a place, you gotta see it in the day and you gotta see it at night. I mean, look at the people across the street. You can obviously see their tourists walking around at night, but they're in a group, so they feel safer. All right. You, watching, which way should I go? If you said that way, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to like the video just for that. For all my Ethiopian viewers, meaning you've been to Ethiopia, you understand the smells of Ethiopia. Paradise, what you're smelling right now is something that I smell all the time in Ethiopia, whether it's the, the smell of the gas, the trash. You know, to some people it might you might think it's it's dirty. To me it takes me to back home. So I guess that's also why I love Costa Rica so much, because it's home without being in home. You know, it's hard to get out to Ethiopia and spend a lot of time there with it being so far and the opportunities that I haven't created the opportunities yet for me to be living there. So in the meantime, I'll spend my nights walking through San Jose. Ooh, that smell just mm, takes me back. You see guys, this is what I'm talking about. You see how the water is being held up here? Versus the whole street could be flooded. Smart. Even the way the people are standing up right now in line is something I've only seen in Ethiopia. So right now, we're here at our destination, taking paradise to Chinatown. We're here in Chinatown in Costa Rica. Who thought it was possible? Yeah, when we were, when we were driving through the hotel yesterday, the driver pointed this out to me. And I was amazed because like, just look at Chinatown everywhere you go. I wonder, are there actually Chinese people here cooking? Or is it Costa Rican people cooking? They got shop suey special. Oh wow, look, they are possibly Chinese people. That's, that's amazing. That's what you call diversity. <laughs> is this like actually like a Chinese sculpture? No way. I don't believe it. Hold on. What did the Chinese do to, to be here? Hold on, let's see. This is an actual Chinese sculpture. It says in, in Spanish, which I'm struggling to read right now. Wow. Wow. That is cool. That is really cool. We've got the cathedral right here. Wow. Come look at this. I feel like the cathedrals in, in in Costa Rica are really extravagant. You just look at the little sculptures they put in there. 
You've got another sculpture over here. Also, I wonder what all this space they use is for. So, this looks really tempting to go see. Watch out for this crossway. It's really just eye-catching to see these lions, something I only see in LA. But I just want to point out to you guys, as tempting as this is, I'm definitely not walking down this. It's you could just read it all over. It's just not a place we want to go. And at the moment, we're going to keep walking this way, okay? We don't need any more attention right now, okay? I'm going to keep it, you know, keep it playa. You know what I mean? Coming from Los Angeles, you know, I know when it's time to turn around. <laughs> yeah, this is the Chinatown here in San Jose. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope y'all enjoyed walking through the streets of San Jose at nighttime with me. We're going to have more nighttime videos coming soon. Make sure to like this video right now. Make sure to subscribe to the channel because we definitely hit it 1K this year. That's easy. And make sure to share this with your people. Make sure to share this with the world because I'm out here spreading love, positivity, positivity, awareness, and knowledge. Thank you so much for watching. And let's remember that the sun is still rising. The moon is still shining. The wind is still blowing. The water is still flowing. And although I'm walking out here in the streets of San Jose at night, you and I, we still live in life. Pura vida, much love and respect. And Nomadius, out.